Hello, everyone. This is Ranger Rob, and welcome to Ranger Rob Country Living. I like to say, first of all, I hope everybody has a wonderful new year. I know 2021 is going to be a challenge. Uh, we obviously know the ch uh, year that we've been through has been quite a endeavor, but I hope we can all take the opportunity to uh, learn from 2020. And what I wanted to do is, because this is the new year, I want to make a resolution with you guys. Um, it's definitely one that me and Sherry are doing. It's a carryover from what we've been doing. And and by the way, in the background there, you're seeing uh, 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 Central Oregon Mountains. It's beautiful over there. So I believe, I think you're seeing the Three Sisters. Not sure. <laughs> we got quite a few mountains. I know you guys aren't used to seeing snow in the mountains. We got lots of it. Uh, they're actually much more snowy and it's much more snowpack on there now, so it's really nice. So uh, I uh, introduced a program just last week called the PPP program, which is prep, uh, preserve, and produce. Prepping is all the things where this come prepping food or prepping for protection and safety, um, uh, equipment, things like that. Um, preserving food, learning, um, you know, things like canning learning how to uh, vacuum seal, learning how to uh, buy qu uh, large quantities, and getting into uh, dehydrators and or freeze dryers, which is what Sherry and I are doing. And last but not least is produce, which means uh, maybe starting a garden, starting to grow some of your own food. You don't have to grow it all, just certain things you really like. And grow things you like. Don't experiment all the time, but it's always good to try some kind of new crop, but grow the things you know you'll eat. And if you know how to preserve it, you can grow a lot of it and save it. So the goal is I want to ask everybody to join. And I'd love to hear your comments below what you're doing for the new year. <laughs> Besides surviving is uh, we know for a fact that we've had trouble with our food shortages. And it's not necessarily um, running out of food as it is <clears throat> distribution and farming and quantities. Uh, and transportation. Um, and we have a, probably will have that issue come up some more. Um, the other thing that we know for sure is our weather, our solar system, everything's acting kind of weird. And, uh, you know, on a faith based kind of thing, you might want to kind of take a look at that. But we could have temporary outages, uh, really bad weather. In different states, we're in Oregon, so we don't have as much extreme weather like tornadoes and hurricanes and cyclones. And, of course, earthquakes can occur anywhere, well, almost everywhere. And, uh, you know, um, those things could put us out of power or put us out of transportation or stores or uh, supplies for a, couple, a week or a couple of weeks or months. Um, and... I guess the big thing is I always want to emphasize is don't go through the world going, what if I did, what if I would have saved a little bit of uh, money? What if I saved a little bit of silver and gold? What if I saved a little food? What if I learned how to preserve? What if I learned how to prep and have a, a few things in hand so I could still heat the house or, or uh, still have extra gas around to run my uh, generators and vehicles? <clears throat> what if nothing is worse than having a, something happen and not being prepared when you kind of knew that you should have, that is a really empty, empty feeling. And I don't want anybody to go through that. So please, I'm begging you for your new year, learn how to prep. You can do it at different levels. You can do it fast or slow. But, oh, man, just little things like sit in a, sit down at the table with your partner or friends or family and say, what are the things that could happen if our power went out? Well, a couple of the young guys will start listing things. Well, we couldn't see very well. Well, do we have flashlights? Do we have candles? Do we have little oil lamps? Um, we're going to get cold or we're going to get warm, one of the two. We're going to get cold. How are you going to heat the house? What's the alternatives? 
Um, depending on your climate and where you live, it could be different. Arizona, not so much of an issue as it is in, say, our state or Washington or uh, Midwest and things like that, or even East Coast. They get some crazy cold weather. Uh, what are you going to do for heat? And, and sit around the table and ask these questions. What if we lost our power? What if we couldn't buy gas? What if we uh, couldn't get some of the food we wanted? And play out each scenario and then start a list of things that you think would make your life a little more comfortable during the discomfort of losing some of our privileges, you might say. Um, so anyway, that's where this program has come in, the PPP program. Learning how to prep, learning how to preserve, and learning how to produce things for yourself. And basically what we're talking about is get the goal of self-reliance. Um, be able to buy some times in, in, in time in case we have an a, a issue in our situation or political, whatever it could be. <clears throat> um, and it, the best thing about all this is if nothing ever happens, no harm done. You can just let's, like take a special weekend and say, we're not going to the grocery store for anything. We're going to use some of our preps. Um, and, and when you do produce preps, you buy the things you like to eat. Don't go out and buy a whole bunch of spam if you hate spam. <laughs> or maybe you get some of those old canned hams. Those are really affordable. And you can get them at places like Buy Mart. I actually heard that you can get some of that kind of stuff at dollar stores. <clears throat> but keep adding and, and get that pantry built up a little bit. Uh, pastas and paper and uh, matches and uh, uh, just oddball things, paper towels, paper plates, things like that. Um, you know, get some extra and you can just prep for a week, prep for two weeks. Myself, my goal is a year. I'm over to six, I'm easily over the six month mark and I feel very comfortable and, and I've had to go into our preps before, but that's good. I need to rotate stuff anyway. And it feels good to know that you're prepared. And then when it comes to money, if the power went out and you needed cash, do you have any extra cash in the house? You know, maybe you can go out and get a couple hundred and put it in, uh, in a little stash in you, in there, but uh, uh, do small amounts, 20 here, 20 there, 10 there, whatever. Just keep adding to it. Before you know it, you'll have a nice little stash. And then the last thing I'm going to talk about is precious metals or assets. There's different forms of assets, but um, ask yourself this question. If I had a dollar bill, and went to China with it, would it be worth anything? If I went to Russia, would it be worth anything? If I went to Mexico, would it be worth anything? If I went to the Philippines? And the, the answer is maybe a little, but not as good as what's you know they got in those countries. But if you had a silver one-ounce coin, would that be worth anything in Canada? Would that be worth anything in Russia or China or Japan? or the Philippines or you know whatever you go to would that silver mean anything to them darn tootin it would how about gold buy an ounce of gold would that mean anything to all those other countries heck yeah it's an asset that everybody recognizes as a precious metal so maybe consider this year making a goal of buying a hundred dollars worth of a Silver through, say, SB, SD Bullion or something like that. I'm not linking anything or affiliate. I do use them, but <clears throat> I don't have a link below for you to make money or anything. And and buy yourself $100 worth of uh, maybe four ounces of uh, silver. You can buy it in one-ounce pieces. You can get smaller coins uh, that are in quarters or halves, ounces. And actually, I kind of suggest you actually buy, say, four um uh, silver coins at a quarter ounce and maybe uh, two at a half ounce and a couple of one ounces because uh, if, if, if you only have just one and you go to the store and you're trying to uh, use it for bartering, um, you, you might actually get kind of ripped off. Um, so anyway, and that's the other thing that comes to do when things get tight, people don't care about money so much as they do assets or 
like food and equipment and gas and things like that, things that you could trade with your neighbors and share with each other. Maybe your neighbor is growing food and certain kinds of food that you're not. And you can trade those different kinds of commodities and, and your neighbor will recognize silver or gold. So if you're really needed and you're really down and out, you could trade some food or gas or preps or blankets or whatever you need for silver. But they sure in heck wouldn't be very interested in your cash, um, just depending on the scenario. The longer that we can't get our cash, the less value it's going to be. So all I'm saying is make this the year of prepping. Make this the year of learning how to preserve food. Make this the year to learn how to produce food and, and learn how to buy in bulk and learn how to preserve it. So one is you'll save lots of money. Let's say you go to the farmer's market and you see a whole crate of really nice fresh green beans and the price is amazing. You say, I can't buy that whole case. I don't know how to preserve it. Well, if you learn how to can, if you learn how to freeze things, if you learn how to um, uh, dehydrate or use a, a freeze dryer, you could store all that food quite easily and it'll last for years. Wouldn't that be a good feeling? Wouldn't it be nice to know that you're not saying, what if I would have done that when a disaster happens? And this is not gloom and doom and the end of the world and the apocalypse I'm talking about. These are things that can happen that could knock out your power, could knock out uh, the infrastructure. Um, we could even go into a depression, re recession. Even this reset could really put everybody out for a long time. And so it's better to be ready. So will you do that with me this year for 2021? Make this the year of prepping, learning how to preserve food and preserve other things, and also learn how to produce food. Is that a worthwhile goal? Can you do that? I'm going to do it. I've already started doing it, but I'm going to do it even better. This channel is to show you that we're just starting out in some of this stuff like you. And so when you watch our shows from Range Rob Country Living, you'll see that we're learning along with you and we're trying and we will fail in certain things and we'll be successful in other things and we'll get better at everything else. But to sit back and do nothing, what a terrible feeling. I've already felt the success of being a prepper from just 2000, the year 2020. It was definitely worth it. And I've, I was able to help some family members when they couldn't get paper products. Um, don't necessarily like giving out my preps, but, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. You got to realize, are you prepping for yourself, a little bit for your family, a little bit for your neighbors? All of it's good. So, guys, first of all, I know it's hard to say this, but I hope everybody has a great New Year's and a new year coming. Yes, we have some hardships. We still got to deal with the CV stuff. We're going to have money issues. The stock market, ignore that. That's the, that's the upper 1% of people kicking around money and having fun with it and, and actually just benefiting from our gloom. The top companies that are in stock market, stock market are going to be your Walmart, your Amazons, your Tesla, all those high up companies that aren't, don't seem to be getting affected or don't seem to have the same rules as small business. And so they're just up in that world having fun, <clears throat> making money off of our, us, why our small businesses are being devastated. Another great goal for this year, go help local business any way possible even if it's just a simple little milkshake or something, stop by and, and do something with these small businesses and support them. If you need some hardware, go to the local hardware store instead of Walmart. Go to those people. They need our help because the government is not helping them. And all these rules and regulations are not helping them. Um, it's so funny how these big box stores can be open and doing their thing, but they devastate the restaurants and the small businesses. Not fair. Not fair at all. Government's in it for themselves. I don't hate the government. 
I just know all governments tend to be a little selfish, a lot selfish. And there's greed and there's money involved. And we just, you need to know that. It's been that way since the dawn of time. Reality. The best person you can count on is yourself and your family. So I hope that was a, a, a good goal for all of us. I'm in if you're in. I'm in anyway. But please, prep, preserve, and produce. And have a wonderful new year. And please leave your comments below of some of the things that you're doing for uh, your resolutions for this year, for 2021. I'd love to hear them. And um, guys, we love you. And please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world and become part of our family. And uh, thanks again. Talk to you later, guys. Bye. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.